the Marines, you're taught that you're the, the baddest, toughest in the world. So um, you're taught never to give up. Um, that can be much harder on the emotional side of stuff. You know, I didn't want this to happen to me, but I really do feel that, you know, that's what God intended for me. After I got out of high school, I decided to join the Marine Corps. October 15th, 1995, while I was stationed in artillery in Hawaii, we just got going down the mountain too fast. He hit the brakes, the truck rolled, and as it rolled over the side of the truck hit my leg, it kept rolling, so it amputated the leg on sight. You know, I was mad for a while. Why does this have to happen to me? I was given a, a great challenge in life and just has to choose to get up or choose not to get up. Um, you know, I'm trying to, trying to teach my son that stuff all the time. It may be my stubborn nature in general, but when people tell me that I can't do something, then I'm gonna go try to figure out a way to get it done. You know, emotionally, I feel that I've been able to overcome uh, a lot of the hurdles that were in front of me. I qualified for the Paralympics, got to go to Spain, England, and Sydney, Australia. Or after my bachelor's at UMKC, I went to Cal State uh, for prosthetics, and then came back and took a job in St. Joe, Missouri. When someone loses a limb, a lot of times they think life's over, and they go through the same grieving stages as if you, you know, lost a loved one. I think it's just one of those wounds, you know, that are, that are really deep. So once you can work through that wound and help others work through that wound, it's, you know, it's super gratifying. I'm able to have empathy with the patients because I've went through the same situation or a similar situation. Even before I talk to them, I can lift up my pant leg and then they have hope because I was able to walk into the room. Each patient's different, so you really have to sit down with that patient and find out what their individual goals are. Educate them on how we build the prostheses, what the process is gonna look like from when we cast them to when they come back for a check socket to when they come back and we deliver the final product. It's awesome to see someone's face when they stand up for the first time and you know, a lot of times there's tears involved. It's very rewarding when you get somebody up and walk for the very first time. Um, and, and for them to know that there's some things in life that they can do that they didn't think they could do.